In the 90s, I worked as a letter carrier at the main post office in Novato, California. Nova- by the by, that literally is the town be- the south of Petaluma. Oh. It's the next town down. And half the kids that went to my high school lived in Novato and commuted up the freeway to our school. Okay. So Novato, <laughs> Novato, they have a Denny's. There's not a ton to say about it. <laughs> and a lot of my family lives there to this day. Okay. Novato, there's not a ton to say about it. <laughs> <laughs> Novato, it's fine to pass on the freeway. <laughs> they, I, Novato, now they have a drive through Starbucks, I believe. <laughs> I, okay. <laughs> okay. Every carrier spends the first part of each day working in the office, sorting mail and preparing their route for street delivery. At the time, there were more than 60 mail routes in Novato. Every carrier and clerk worked together in one large room about the size of a supermarket. We all worked in close proximity with almost nothing separating our workspaces. One morning, I was sorting letters and feeling a little gassy. Uh. Not wanting to leave my workstation, I silently released a small fart. (laughs) (laughs) I'm ready. I'm ready for this. Usually I could get away with this. Perhaps it's my diet. (laughs) Oh, sorry. I'm a child. Perhaps it's my diet, but very few of my farts have any noticeable smell. Oh, congratulations. You're kidding yourself. I know, right? This one was different. I don't remember what I had been eating, but when this fart hit the air, it was about the worst thing I'd ever smelled in my life. (laughs) Oh, my God. When you know, when your own farts gross you out. Smells bad to you. Yeah. You ate uh, like a half a dead raccoon the night before <laughs> something along those lines right the odor soon spread to my surrounding co-workers there was an immediate reaction <sighs> people gagged their eyes watered. oh my god as the odor spread more and more the people stopped working and fled <sighs> i might have been found out immediately but it didn't smell like anything that could have come from a human <laughs> <laughs> no one even suspected it was a fart. People began speculating it must, <laughs> it must be some sort of chemical leak. Oh my god. Was it was it dangerous? Management was called and the building was evacuated. <laughs> <laughs> Mail processing in Novato came to a halt. This was now costing the Postal Service thousands of dollars. Oh. Every carrier would be working overtime. Everyone in town would get their mail late. <laughs> I never said a word. No. If I could just keep a straight face and my mouth shut, this was all going to pass without anyone ever knowing the truth. Then we heard the sirens. <laughs> oh, no. No. The fire department arrived along with the hazmat team. <laughs> Workers in full hazmat suits entered to inspect the building. Holy shit. Although they were unable to determine the source of the smell, the inspection revealed several significant health and safety code violations. Okay. In the end, more than $100,000 was spread, spent Bringing the building into compliance. Well, that's good. Strangely, I felt a bit of pride. We were all (laughs) safer as a result. And though we'll never know for sure, in the end, that fart may have saved lives. (laughs) And then it just says Erica in Anderson Springs. That is the most (laughs) epic fart that has ever fucking happened. 